Hey everyone, I'm Brad Nelson. And I'm Ross Miriam. And you're watching the Versus series on StarCityGames.com. All right, well, today uh, I feel like I'm going to lose this match that I started 1-0 at because I don't know how to play Vintage at all. And I know how to play Vintage a little bit, so That's a huge edge, Ross. huge edge. Um, it's a really cool format. I love watching it. Like, I've watched a lot of the Vintage uh, Super I mean, League. And it, it's a really good format, actually, for viewers because the games are so swingy. Yeah, and, and there's a lot of writing on the wall, but there's, like, there's opening hands that are degenerate, but you don't know what to do with them, but you could easily see how you sequence them out. Yeah. So it's fun to see in such a small window other people's thought process. Because in standard, it can get so drawn out that it's really difficult to know what someone's thinking because they're thinking about like trying to set up three or four turns in events, and the the thought patterns just bridge yeah. so far different if you don't see the right line. And they they have like reads that they've yeah. gathered over three or four turns, but all that stuff is condensed. It's, it's really cool. Yeah. But I'm gonna I, I'm I, for for you vintage players at home that love watching these because you like vintage, just you can be harsh, but don't take it too far. I'm I'm not bad at magic. I'm gonna be harsh enough on him. All right, let's so. just let's just see if I can keep this opener. You, you do get to be on the play, so that's cool. That's not even that good. Oh man, Ooh. one of my favorite cards. One of my favorite cards too, but I don't even know if I'm supposed to keep it. All right, whatever. I'm gonna keep it. I will keep this hand as well. Go. That's a good one. That is also a good one. Means I can't do anything this turn. What are you playing? Box jet resolves. Defense grid. Ah. Good. I mean, I feel like I have to let it resolve for like so many reasons. Mostly this. Whatever. Oh wait, we're going off. Sack for Black, Cabal Ritual, Necropotence. One, two, three, four, Storm of Six. Don't worry, you're not dead, but I wanted to do that just to scare you. But I do have a Necropotence. I know! Um, so, I'm going to pay uh, 10. I think that'll be enough. I don't really need the money. To, I can quit doing this. <laughs> uh, so I go to 10 life. You got uh, that end of turn, right? Yes, and then I discard, and then they get exiled. Yeah. Cards I discard get exiled. Um, wow, I wish I had that. We can definitely Last discard turn. those two. And you have a defense grid now. Funny. And this bargain is probably unnecessary. Draw a card. And... Is this one also unnecessary? It seems like it. No, it's probably still good. Oh... Let's cut this brainstorm, actually. Okay. All right, I drew a card off library, and now I'm going to recall. Yeah. Target myself. I'll probe you. Can you kill me with that? No. Not yet. I don't have a tutor. So you're at 18? Yeah, and I still have just drawn absolute garbage. Um, I don't even know if I can do that. Oh, wait, I can discard? That That might be good. You playing like a reanimator deck? Five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, this can help me. What's your hand? I mean, I'm, at, at this point, I don't know how I win the game through a Necropotence. Drawing a lot more cards. And you're probably not going to get another turn. Oh, yeah. We'll just... <laughs> All right. And head up. I don't think you're going to live, but priority to this. Oh, wait, but you don't. Hmm? Do you think I was dead? Oh, yeah. Okay. Because uh, I, I mean, I time walk and I get to draw, I get to draw more cards. Necro, and keep going. I'm going sure, to okay. see another 15 cards before you get another turn. Okay. All right. Well, I'm taking these out because I just don't think they're going to be that good. Not better than these. Um,. But honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> I, I um, really have no idea what's going on. On my side, Brad was talking about getting to discard on that last turn, on the second turn he played. So I kind of think he might be a reanimator deck, and I want to bring in some extra disruption for that. Uh, I'm bringing out a card that 
basically is not going to be good against a lines or a, uh, a library deck. So I know I want to cut this. I'm trimming this so I don't have too much disruption and instead ha still have more gas. And then I'm just trimming one gas card, which is the most redundant in my deck. So. All right. Well, we're here for the next game and my hand is not that good, but I think I keep it. I'm going to. My hand has high potential, but I don't have ways to dig through my deck to find the missing pieces, but it's close enough that I'm going to keep it and give Bradley all that information. Pass. Here, 19. I guess I don't need to do this, but I'll technically, I just want to thin. Were you an Oath deck? Do Oath decks play green-blue? <laughs> yes. Uh oh. <laughs> you could just be like a Death Rate Shaman deck. A Leovold kind of deck. Do but... those exist in this format? Yeah. Ooh, I'm going to keep this just in case. I think I should. Maybe I should. I feel like I could use both of these, so yeah. We're I, gonna I hope you're that. Oathing into Inferno Titan. Sylvan Library, that's a good one. Yeah, I can't get away from that card. Crack fetch, brainstorm, fun underground. Missed up. It's going to bring you to 17. Mm -hmm. Blaster Storm, the misstep. Really want this brainstorm to resolve. Anything else? Hmm. So that's the. So three copies of Flush I'm just seeing if you've got your copies. Yeah, three copies of uh, Fine. Phantom Brainstorm Mystic. results. Would you like to cut? Yes, of course I would. Uh, that could have gone better. You can go. Go to five? No, it's only eight. Mm. Oh, yeah, sorry. Eight like, go to, go to nine. I feel like that's fine. Um, or do I need to dig one more card? Would nine or seven be different? Six? Whatever, I'll do it. Yep. Uh, or I don't, I don't, I might need to do that. I don't think so. Um, whatever, yep. You go to seven? Yep. Let me look Fluster Storm. I'll leave it up for you. Yeah, I also had a second Fluster Storm, so getting the Brainstorm to resolve seemed better. Well, this is bad for me, I think. I guess you have to kill me next turn, but I'm guessing Yagwan's Bargain kind of kills people. Oh, can you can't get to Yagwan's Bargain, though. Not without a top deck. Okay, uh, you get spirit, spirit. copy color spirit. I get an oath. Your turn. Dark ritual. Results. Dress you to black floating. Take the uh, brainstorm, right? Is that mm -hmm. a, yeah. yeah. Did you hit? Uh, oh no, I have tendrils on top of my deck. Uh, play this LED, hold priority, sack for black. Tendrils you. I hate magic. You made me hate magic. You that, made me hate the game I love. Is that good? Was that uh, we had dark ritual duress LED preordain is four tendrils is five. Tendrils for ten. Attack more. Mm -hmm. Should have done that first. Wouldn't need one less storm. <laughs> 
All right, this might have been the first video you watched all week, but I have been getting brutalized by Ross the entire time. Well, and I am sick of it. The, the trick there on that turn is to realize that because I had duress, you should force the dark ritual. Because it, yeah. if, if I could duress you in ritual and kill you, you're just dead regardless. So clearly I couldn't if I lead with the ritual. That's true. Okay, and if you so let I it resolve, then just, I duress you. Then yeah, I, I just, just counter that. Yeah, and you, you would have, I was one mana short at that point. Because if I preordained with just the LED, I'm one mana short of casting the LED. The yeah, you're right. Top. I could have done that. So you, to be fair, you screwed up with perfect information. Near perfect. I'm never going to work with you again. Bye. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. I love my job.